Hi everyone, welcome to this new part of Link Tutorial. In few previous videos, we have learned about multiple methods of the element operators. Now, let's understand the difference between all the methods in a single video. Let's start. So basically, we are going to learn about the difference among first, first or default, single, single or default, last, and last or default methods we will learn what is the difference among all these methods and the most important is where can we use these methods let's start so i have created this table and first you can see we have the first method first or default last last or default then single and single or default method now focus here on the first line the first method is used to return first element from a data source similarly first or default method is also used to return first element from a data source now let's talk about the last method last method is used to return the last element from a data source now last or default method is also used to return the last element from the data source which is also clear from its name and now we have single method single method is used to return one single specific element from a data source similarly single or default method is also used to return single specific element from a data source okay so right now we do not have any difference in between first and first or default last and last or default single and single or default now let's understand the difference in the second line if more than one element exists then first method will return the first element from the sequence suppose you are using the first method and the output of the query is multiple elements and if you need the first element from that query then you can use first method first method will always return the first element from that query if you are using first or default method then similarly if you have more than one elements from a query then we will get the first element if we are using the last method then if we have more than one elements then the last method will always return the last element from the data source if we are using the last or default then also it will always return the last element from that query if we are using the single method and there are more than one elements then we will get an exception similarly in the single or default if there are more than one elements in the data source or in your query then we will get an exception in case of single or single or default there should be only and only one specific element in the data source again if no element exists for a given sequence then first method will throw an exception suppose you have a data source and you have applied few filters on that data source and based on the filters there is no element in your result and still you are applying the first method then in this scenario you will get an exception if you are using first or default then you will get the default value of the element suppose you have the entire data source and you have applied the filter and based on the filter there is no element in the data source then you will get the default value of the element similarly if you talk about the last method if there is no element exists for given sequence then last method will throw an exception if we talk about the last or default then if we have applied some filtration or some other process and there is no element exist in the sequence then the last or default method will always return the default value of the data source now if we talk about the single if no element exists for given sequence then single method will throw an exception if we talk about the single or default if no element exists for given sequence then this method will return the default value of the element now the question is where should we use these methods how will you decide where should you choose a particular method you can choose first method if your requirement is when more than one element exists and you need only first element 
you are very sure that you will get the value but if you are working with a scenario where more than one element may or may not exist and if data exists then you need the first value and if data does not exist then you need the default value then you can use first or default method similarly if you have a data source or a sequence where you have more than one values and you need only the last element or last value from the sequence then you can use last method you should always use first and last method if you are very sure that data will always be available based on your condition if data will not be available then you will always get an exception if you are using first or last method now if you talk about the last or default when more than one element may exist or may not exist and if data exists then you need the last element or if data does not exist then you need the default value of the element then you can use last or default method in case of single you are very sure that there will always be only one value in the specific data source in case of single you are very sure that there will only be one specific element in the data source and you need only that element then you can use single method if you are not sure that whether data will exist or not but you are sure that if data exists then it will be only one then you can use single or default if data exists if one single element one specific element exists then you will get that element and if that element does not exist then you will get the default value of the element of data source so now i think these methods will be clear to you you have to learn these methods very carefully because these are very much used in your link queries also from the interview point of view these methods are most commonly asked questions in the c sharp that's all in this part thank you for watching have a great day